What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, High Top. And uh, today I decided to revisit Amplify Studio by Amplify Music. Uh, I got an email a couple of days ago asking me, have I seen the updates with Amplify Studio? And I haven't until last night. I went and updated um, the software and uh, started messing around with it. Uh, if you're not familiar with Amplify Studio at all, you can look at one of my my first few videos on Amplify Studio where I try to explain it. Um, I was new to it. I'm still new to it. So uh, I was just reviewing it, getting, getting an unbiased review about um, Amplify Studio. But the first thing when I downloaded and updated it, the first thing I noticed is they added some more functionality to the menu. Um, they got section. They didn't have that. They have channel. That wasn't there before. Um, sales wasn't there. You had transport. Account wasn't there. And tools. But, you know, it's just to make it easier to get to some of the things and, you know, make it a little more, adding a little more functionality to, to the menu. And that's the first thing I mean I I uh, notice. Also, right off the bat, it came that they added a couple of more tabs over here because they just had home and pack. Now home is just showing you what you have. I, I have the I have the free uh, version. Maybe I upgrade to premium. The only thing I seen so far that's the different than having a premium subscription and a free su subscription premium you get more packs you get more sounds to work with and also you can upload audio with premium um audio clips rather audio um loops and stuff like that uh, I'm, I'm curious to see how long of a loop how much of a loop how many loops i imagine you can uh upload as many as you want but how much of that loop can you how many seconds can you upload so i will probably get premium in a couple of days and and check that out um so with the packs one of the cute cool things i've seen is this filter filter now you could you could you could pick your packs that you have available to you by jaren so if you just want alternative if you just want hip-hop packs you know what I'm saying? Rock packs. Or you can pick more than one. You know? Or you can pick all of them. If you leave them blank, all your packs that you have available to you will show up. And you just stroll to them. But the, the cool thing about the filter is when you go to sounds. Now you can pick your sounds by uh, type. You can pick your drum sounds, your bass, melodic, percussion, vocals, and FX. Your effects by... Uh, And not only you can pick, you can have all of them. You see the load more. Or you can pick them by Jaren again. If you're just looking for trap drums and here come your trap drums. If you're looking for trap drums, but you also would like to add a little hip hop drums, maybe a break in there, then it'll give you your trap and your hip hop drums. And you can see where you got drums. You're looking at two Jarens. And uh, you can go for that. Or uh, you want to go trap melodic or whatever you're looking for and like i said you can pick as many as you want and i think that's cool that's one of the better feature on the updates um one other thing i noticed is you have under your tools and garden the setting now you could add your um your interface here i gotta focus right um I did with Focusrite products. That's how I came by Amplify Studio the first go round. Um, so it automatic it automatically recognized my Focusrite as my audio interface. The only thing I seen that I got I have a Scarlett one of my interfaces is a Scarlett eighteen i twenty, but you can only use analog one and two in order to. Um, import 
uh, live sound or uh, vocals or whatever you want to do. And the other thing, since I'm on that, well, I'll come back to that. But after you get the um, set your audio, you can go to controller. You can you can add controllers now. But the thing about it is, you can only add lunch pad controllers. So hopefully, I have a, I have a uh, MPCX, and um, hopefully they will expand this in the near future, and where you can use other controllers or other MIDI MIDI controllers, including keyboards or whatever, in order to trigger your samples. So hopefully they'll do that. That's one thing I've seen, and also here in general, you'll see that I already have experimental features enabled. So under your tab. You have a tab here that allow you to enable this. Uh, when you enable it, it tell you, okay, they might not work like they should, but we're working on it. So that's cool too. So you enable, them. and what I what I what I seen with that that experimental is do give you the capability to record um, in into the software. Somebody asked me a question about that on the last video I did. So now they have made it a way to where you can record. The only thing I see, and maybe it's a way around it, and maybe I'm not looking because I'm, you know, I just got this software and I just really just started looking into it. You can only record um, four bars. So, um, which would be a, a problem if you loop that same section several times. So, um, I don't know it's what what's the way around that, but I I could I could see a work around, but I don't know. I I I leave that for later on when I do record some audio into it. But I can see a work around already, especially if you have the uh premium version. What you could do is you could just you can record your four bars on each channel and allow that channel to play only once i guess maybe maybe not maybe not um uh, we'll see i'm not sure but we I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna work with that a little bit and see and also up here you have a way to that they didn't have before they just had a stop and a play icon up here now you have a loop icon and with that loop icon you can loop each section uh that section will play on a loop According to how many bars you have it, eight bars, it'll still play on an endless loop until you pick another section. If you pick the the play icons, then it's just gonna play through as a regular song. But if you was like on a live situation and you have something in there and you want to loop it, then you could play it. You can skip section, repeat section. You just pick them and, and play them how you want to play them. And play to the crowd. Um, what else? Oh, they got a, a slicer, and I did some slicing right here. I think it's on this one right here. Yeah, this one right here. And the cool thing about it is with the slicer, when you slice it, you can you can even though I'm using the same loop here, the same sound, it's unsliced here, but I sliced it here. I was wondering if I slice it on one, will it will it affect the other one? Well, it don't. So you can take an unsliced sound, slice it, and the other one, you know, leave it as it is. Uh, if you understand that, you can you can have the whole loop here, or you can slice the loop up and and use it again in the same in the same uh, cell. Yeah in different sections so that would be that's that's cool uh is there anything else that i see right off the bat not really once again you know on the free version they give you an eight by eight you can have eight section eight cells you know what i'm saying so you could play around with that and come up with different things so uh, some of the things that i would like to see them do is you can control the volume for each for each sound here and you can kind of mix it if they had a
pan knob or a pan slider here, it would be so much better. And then not, not only could you control the volume and, and kind of start doing a little mixing, if you had a pan, you could really start panning them from like the right to left or whatever. Um, like I said, if you're new to Amplify Studio, I would like to encourage you to go watch my first video, first several videos about Amplify Studio. Um, but other than that, I think it's a good, I still think it's a good program for a beginner uh, uh, that's trying to get into that want, that's curious about producing music. Uh, it's a loop based program, naturally mostly a loop based program and um i think it's it's good for a beginner or uh, uh, somebody that just this is what i would use if i really didn't and this is what i i would use it for if i really didn't feel like messing around with music but i want to mess around with music i just don't want to waste my time waste my day and not do anything musically then this is what i would go to and that's that's what i would uh that's what i'm going to start using it for and also if you want to get in and start following a program from the start, I will also do that and see how they build it up. You know, see how when the updates come out, how they build it up. And I think I will, I'm going to continue to do that with uh, Amplify Studio. So if you have any questions, any comments, um, anything you want to say, anything that I missed, I know I probably didn't cover it all. Um, let me know in the comments below. And uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to start making. I know I haven't been on it for a while. Uh, but I'm going to start making more videos. Um, maybe some tutorials or whatever I, I learned along the way. But subscribe to the channel. Watch my other videos. And uh, if you have any comments, any questions, anything that, like I say, I missed that you know or notice. Uh Put them in the subscription. I mean, not in the subscription. Put them in the comments below.